I mean, you know, Dave Tepper basically said, look, my view is my view. Yeah. I think that that's kind of, when you hear that, what you realize is it's his view. <laughs> it is his view. I mean, he said, and what did he do? He said, take probably, Central Bank seriously. Probably worth, worth talking about a bit more, don't well, you think? Well, take Central Bank seriously. The forecast he, he, is the forecast. Yes. I mean, one of the things he called, you know, I speak to him periodically, but I'm not allowed to say that. And I, I'm sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. didn't come out right. But we were talking about look, Christine Lagarde, you know, 50 basis point, 50 basis point, 50 basis point. Well, the, the, you then don't say what she really meant was 25. You, you kind of keep it simple. You keep I, it simple. I you found, give away McCaffrey and you... I found I'm Tepper sorry, fascinating. Sorry, I listened to every word he had to say. I, I did even too. If he had did it very loud. I told Lauren Alvarez. It is what our, it is. So I said, listen, please be quiet. Yes. Even though I just learned that her dad had played golf with my late father, my uncle. Yeah. I said, I don't want to hear that because Tepper's on. Right. And there he was. Uh, there, Central he, banking. There he was. And he talked he about banked. he was very much focused, as you as you indicate, Jim, on uh, on the teddy bear. That is how he referred to Chair Powell versus the grizzly bear, yes. which is how he referred to Christine Lagarde. Um, and he went on from there. Uh, I think we've got you some, have some clips. Maybe we maybe do. Have we clip. have we have a nice clip that sort of embraces kind of his view of both what it means, what the Fed and the ECB and the BOE and the BOJ are doing. He had them all. And how I that the WPA and the WNBA and how that translates. And, and also the uh, NFL <laughs> how that, uh, and, and then CM, CMC and, and, left out CMC. And, and how that translates to his view of the equity market. Take a listen. Just because I tend to believe as a base case, when these different central banks and other government officials tell me what they're going to do, it, is, it, it has worked for me over time. And, and it, it has. And you know how it has, because I talked about it. it. It was a really great thing on the one side, a real big opportunity, to, you know, in 2010 with the Q, beginning of QE and, you know, saying, you know, I said to you a long time ago, what will go up? Everything. Now it's going to be, like, it's going to be just difficult just difficult for things to go up right now. Why, why do you disagree with that viewpoint, Jim? Well, or do I, you? I think it's nuanced. I think that if you're trading the S and P, he's right. Uh, and 26% of the S and P is technology. I think technology is awful. We'll talk about Micron. There's a lot of the uh, of what I would say the generic industrials that could be questionable if they keep tightening. But overall, there's just too many companies, the S&P, that do well. Um, and I think that David is too, he has too much money to go individual and say, you know what, this time I'm going to buy Merck and I'm going to short uh, Microsoft. He can't do that. He's got too much money. So, I mean, I, I'm a granular guy, as, a, as I think many of our viewers are, and they're not shorting the S&P and going long. But if you're Dave Temper, you got to do that. And overall, the majority of the S&P could be hurt. So why not do what he's doing? Right. Again, he's talking about 220 in S&P earnings for 2023 right. and asking the question, why shouldn't the multiple be 16? It was uh, that refer right. reference he was making in 2010 when, of course, the Fed was going the other way all in. And he said, I went all in Remember long. Remember how bullish he was in the banks? The market multiple was somewhere around 11. Right. I mean, so you have the financials that are challenged by what he's talking about. And you, have the, you have big tech that is challenged. And you talk about 60 percent of the S&P that's problematic. That's a lot of the S&P. So why not go short? But he did not talk about like this ch gigunda collapse. Uh, I think he just said, look, he's leaning short. Remember, I yes. don't want to see more than what he said. I, he, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to you, Carl. No, no. He, he basically pivoted to that lean short thesis. Really sounded like Lagarde was quite a catalyst it, it real, yeah, on look, that front. Take, here's what he said. Yeah. I would probably say I'm leaning short on the equity markets. You know, so right now, because I think they're, you know, I think the upside downside just doesn't make sense to me when I have so many people telling me, so many central banks telling me what they're going to do, what they want to do, what they expect to do. His larger point, Jim, you know, he's not arguing that we're seeing deflation in goods, but getting inflation below three and a half to four, given our structural labor supply problems, lack of immigration, that's going to be stubborn. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it's bullish or bearish. I mean, what he's saying is, look, it, it's it, it's not great, uh, but at the same time, let's just understand. 
everybody kind of knows that this stuff is happening. I mean, we can't get inflation under control yet. If we got inflation under control, he'd change his mind. By the way, Jim, he's saying the same thing you've been saying, which is it's not about goods inflation. It's about services well, inflation or wage inflation. You know, he's, he, he's saying the same thing. You just, yes. you just seem to be coming to somewhat different conclusions. No, no, no. no. He is saying the exact same. I mean, I, I kind of agree with, with Tepper. Well, you agree with him in terms of what the wage Fed's inflation. trying to accomplish. Can't get wage Although he is higher than you, he has a five-two-five terminal rate. You're still no, not no, willing I'm to go still, there. No, I, I four point seven. I mean, you know, with the look at the five, the two-year went from four point six to four point two, and I, I think that Dave's right that we are having an incredible difficulty. Look at the numbers we got this morning. Yep. We can't get these darn wages. I mean, down. it's a pretty backward-looking, but uh, consumption still. Q3 up to two three. We were at one seven.